Hey guys, your buddy Will here with Perfect Water Technologies, where the folks who manufacture the whole master product line. Today we'll be conducting the annual storage tank pressurization procedure for the whole master reverse osmosis water filtration system. The sanitization procedure, storage tank pressurization procedure, and annual filter change procedure should be completed on an annual basis. Let's go over some tools you'll need to successfully complete the procedure. First, a manual bicycle pump. Folks, please avoid using an electric pump similar to a uh, compressor, as you may overinflate the bladder in the storage tank, ultimately rupturing it. Second, a pressure gauge that reads between 0 and 10 PSI. Please note some automobile pressure gauges begin reading at 20 PSI. Last but not least, a towel. You might want to keep that handy. So now that you have your tools together, let's get started. First, close the feed water valve by turning it perpendicular to the tubing. Ensure the tank valve is open with the handle being in line with the tube. Next, open the reverse osmosis faucet to drain the storage tank. This may take some time, folks, typically between 5 to 10 minutes. Once the tank has been completely emptied of water, pull it out for more workspace, but you do not need to disconnect the tubing. Lift the tank to confirm it still contains water. If you believe it is empty, continue to measure the air pressure. Please note, if the tank is completely empty and reads 7.5 PSI, do not add air. Once the water has stopped flowing from the faucet, Lift the tank to see if it still contains water. If it still contains water, we'll proceed to manually pump it out with the bicycle pump. First, unscrew the blue cap on the side of the tank. If at any point water is flowing from the Schrader valve, please contact us immediately at the number below as the tank may require replacement. Then attach the manual bicycle pump to the Schrader valve. Next, slowly add air to the tank. If the tank still has some water, you'll see it being pushed out of the faucet. Add air three pumps at a time. Check it. Let the flow decline. Gradually add air to the storage tank until you get to the point where you can add air pressure without any water coming out of the faucet. Verify the tank is empty by lifting the tank to make sure it feels light. Measure the air pressure once the tank is completely empty of water. Disconnect the bicycle pump and use the pressure gauge. If it's less than 7.5 PSI, gradually add air pressure while checking the PSI occasionally. If you overfilled the tank, deflate the bladder by depressing the Schrader valve pin, like so, until you reach the desired 7.5 PSI. Lastly, replace the blue cap. If you have too much air pressure in the tank, gradually release the air pressure. 
Please note that more than 8 PSI will not increase the pressure at the faucet. It will only reduce the tank capacity and add back pressure to the system. First, place the tank in its original position. Next, slowly open the feed water valve until it's completely opened. Once you observe a thin stream at the faucet, close it and allow the tank to refill. Refilling the tank may take up to three hours. Then, enjoy the water. And that's it. Congratulations, you've successfully completed the Home Master Annual Storage Tank Pressurization Procedure. For more details and information regarding your Home Master Reverse Osmosis Water Filtration System, please visit us at www.homemasterfilters.com. We thank you so very much for watching. This is Will with Perfect Water Technologies, signing off.